Hello, today I'm going to show you uh, the last module of Transcend project built and developed. It's a module which should somehow emulate the sound of a crash ride. It, the crash ride has a noisy, quite aggressive uh, metallic sound, so I tried uh, to figure out how this can be more or less emulated with an electronics. I came up with the following. The basic uh, sound source is a white noise module. And this noise module is then processed by a phaser. And finally, well, and that's all. And volume and the amount of phasing is controlled by a decay on the envelope. So in a normal phaser, the amount of phasing, of phase shift, or what, what makes uh, this thing sound is controlled by a low frequency oscillator, that's what makes this whooshing sound or however you call it. And for this module, well, I decided to do something similar, but instead of a low frequency oscillator, the amount of phasing is uh, controlled by the decay envelope uh, or the envelope that also controls the volume. And how that sounds like, I'm going to show you now. more volume you hear that it sounds not really like a crash more like a gunshot unfortunately I'm pacifist so I don't really like having uh, sounds of gunshots in my drum synthesizer but well whatever you can change the amount of phasing that the envelope should do here you have no phasing or no change of phasing of the envelope. You can increase it. Some more. You can change the total phasing. Like this. Of course, here I have a very yeah it's triggering by itself. Here I have a very uh, simple um, trigger pulse generator. It's just the the envelope gate. Um, it's just a switch which closes the envelope gate signal to um, the supply voltage. So it can. We don't ha really have a trigger signal, but I can change the length. Of it. But for demonstration purposes, now it's okay. Of course, we can also change the decay. That's the longest value. Not the shortest. Not longer. Shorter. And longer. 